Hey there guys, I wanted to give you another perspective of this uh, hook. Physically see it in my hands, my grungy hands here. It's, uh, let's talk about the size before we get into the mechanics of the whole thing. Uh, the overall height of this hook is going to be two and three quarters from top to the very bottom, two and three quarters. Uh, the gap in between here is going to be inch and a half where the pin goes. Uh, right now this is designed for a six gauge pin. I'm only going to offer one size pin. I'm going to try and keep this as universal as possible. Uh, we could open up the gap in here. That's a quite a bit of uh, re-engineering. If we want to go up to inch and three quarters, that's about as large as I would go. Now, uh, these pieces are a mirror image, exactly the same. You can see the, the mechanics behind it and how they fit together. And they'll just slide together. I've talked to my machinists and I've told them that I want to be able to hold some tight tolerances. I want to be able to have a bag of these and just throw them together. We'll be offering these in polished and unpolished. There will be a price difference between the two. But they will fall apart without the pin. The pin has a lot to do with the mechanics on this. So let me go into this a little bit. These are recessed in here. See how that kind of just countersinks into that hook and then stops. And once you put your pin in here and slide this sucker together, it won't fall apart. And that's, that's going to hold the whole, whole hook together. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is half inch thick. So, now uh, something else I wanted to bring up captive and non captive shackles. Captive shackles are bigger than non captive, three thousandths difference. Ideally, I, I could make these for uh, captives, which are smaller, and then open up these holes for people who prefer non captive uh, shackles. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So with a captive, we'll have a nice, nice smooth fit, and we have no play. Nothing, nothing wants to give. The weakest point in this whole hook is going to be the titanium pin. I can assure you this isn't going to fail. And there will be some extensive testing before they go into production. Now, when we use a captive pin, I'll just get a, one thread in there. Let's see if you can see this. See that? We get a little bit of play. In theory, it shouldn't be a problem. We're not getting any real twisting or major issues from this. And there is enough material there that's going to structurally hold this hook together. Again, I, I'm almost positive that this, this titanium pin is going to fail before the hook ever will. So... I wanted you guys to physically see this in my hands, and if there's any changes or suggestions, please let me know. And I uh, can't say I'm going to be able to respond back to everybody, but I want to I hear your feedback. Like the video, and let me know what you think.